Today we are upgrading the most useless fire department in the city to a state-of-the-art $5 million facility that will be the best fire department station that you have ever seen. But before we can do that, we need to transport building supplies to the job site so that construction can begin. Now the first thing we have to do is go over the job site. So we are here with our construction company, but we have a little bit of an issue guys. And that is because this station has been abandoned for so long by the fire department that it now has a homeless population living here. So before we can start construction, we got to figure out what to do with all these people. So we had to call the Los Santos Police Department, unfortunately, on these people as we attempt to try to get them out of here. And they're working on, you know, riling them up and moving them along. But don't worry, guys, we're actually partnering with the city, which is providing a free bus to shuttle the people to the underneath the freeway where they can continue to live. I mean, that's not the most ideal situation, but it's better than them living here. So what we're going to be doing now is getting ready to go over the blueprints. As you guys can see, this place is looking crazy. And the reason why the station is abandoned is because it was being built by another company and they ran away with all the money that the city paid them, guys. They built the exterior of the fire station, but they never built the interior. And to show you guys what I mean by that, we're going to go inside. And as you can see, See, there's nothing in here. The company only built the exterior. They did not build anything on the interior. There's not even a floor. Like, this is ridiculous. The city paid them a ton of money and they got nothing done. And because of that, the firefighters had to operate outside. And that really didn't work because firefighters need a fire station. And as you guys can see, their vehicles got trashed. So, we're going to be using our tow truck to uh, remove that vehicle and we're going to be using our construction company to clean up all of this trash once the police department gets everybody out of here so alex is over here he's a little nervous because he don't want to have any issues or anything i told him it's nothing to worry about these people are just normal people and even if something crazy did happen we do have the police here but i'm gonna help him out i'm gonna go ahead and back up to this battalion chief vehicle and lift it up with our ford and it looks like we got a Ford towing a Ford. And I'm now attached to it. Dang, I just realized it doesn't even have any front tires. Like, that is crazy. It has a lot of damage, too. I don't even know how it got that much damage. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and tow that back to our tow shop. And in the meantime, we're going to work on um, getting started with the building. Now, I went ahead and partnered with another contractor. His name is Prompt, and he came up with some amazing designs that are going to turn this firehouse into the most advanced firehouse that you guys have ever seen. Like, it's going to be so awesome. We're going to have three brand new bays set up over here for the fire department, as well as three bays on the other side. So we'll be able to house over six fire trucks at this station and we're gonna have a lot of cool stuff on the inside as well plus something that is kind of secret that has to do with the police department around the corner so if you guys want to see all of that make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video and in the meantime i am going to head to the shop because i need to get the rest of my construction workers ready we need to grab some supplies we need to get it loaded up on trucks and trailers and we need to grab some construction equipment and bring all of the construction equipment here so while my guys are working on that we're gonna head over to the shop and get our day started now how many of you guys remember that we have a construction company it's been a while since we actually took on any projects but when I saw the city was looking for somebody to design a new firehouse I figured it would be the perfect job for us since we are capable of doing it now here is one of our locations and I actually had to call in a favor from some of my other companies so you guys are gonna see we also have ace trucking is here ace trucking and logistics along with ace towing and all of our guys are here as well so this is gonna be a very big project we're gonna be using all three of our companies to complete this and yeah we got to get these trailers loaded guys we have all these trailers it looks like they have one loaded so far and yeah all of this needs to get to the firehouse so we're gonna have to do a very long convoy to get everything there 
Now, um, we got to go through and see what we have and also what we need. So again, I'm going to have to look through the design plans from prompt and look through the blueprints and make sure we have everything. But I believe we're probably going to need all of our main uh, service vehicles. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're going to need more lumber. Damn, we're like running low. We need to bring some more in from Polito from the sawmill. Um, we're going to need the JCB. We're going to need these forklifts. Um, probably going to need a bucket truck. We're going to need some cement eventually because that place had no floor for some reason. So what I'm thinking is let's start loading up everything. Um, yeah, let's start with the equipment. So I'm going to start with the Cat 950M. Let's get this on to a low boy trailer. Now over here we have some more of our vehicles and trailers lined up and ready to go. So these trailers are going to be for hauling equipment and then the trailers out there is going to be for hauling supplies. So we're going to put up the arm and let's load on to the first trailer. Now I'm going to need to put multiple things. We only have two low boys right now. So I'm going to try to put a forklift on one as well. So we'll put that right there. You know what? I got to tell my other guys to start working on loading all of those trailers because I can't do it all. It's going to take me forever. So I'll load the equipment and I'll tell them to load the trailers. So we got the 950 loaded and I'm going to see if I could fit a forklift right there. Should be just enough space and then on the second trailer I'll get another forklift and I'll get that JCP loader. Everything else can pretty much drive there for the most part. The uh, cement trucks, the boom and everything that could all drive and all the other vehicles out there they can also drive to the construction area. So let's hop into the forklift and get this loaded. Now hopefully this can get up here. I feel like I may need to use one of the other loaders to lift this up. Or maybe if I use the forks and like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Your boy is on to something. Look at that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, got it. Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Fell back down. Okay, okay. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, this is hard. Got it up with just enough space. This thing is gonna barely fit, but it should be perfect, hopefully. It was close, but it fits. So we have the first trailer ready. Let's try to get the next one. Before we do that, I do wanna check and see how everything is being loaded up. So it looks like we have the first trailer loaded over there. This is actually like an office, which is pretty cool. So we could put that on site and then we'll have like an office to use and, you know, do all of our office work, paperwork and stay on top of stuff um, as we are building the firehouse. Um, over here, it looks like they have the next trailer filled with wood. And obviously we're going to need a lot of that to frame out the interior and pretty much build everything that we need. So we got this guy. It's taking a little bit of a break, but he needs to get back on it. And um, they also have that. I think that one was already loaded before we got here. So we still have one, two, three more trailers to get loaded. Mm -hmm. So, hey, come on, man. You got plenty of space. You go ahead. Go ahead. It's kind of crazy we're like loading in the middle of the street but if you guys ever been in like a big city you already know like sometimes there's just no space it's like there's no parking you just gotta do what you gotta do so next vehicle we're gonna put on is gonna be probably the jcp with a forklift i wonder if i could just lift the forklift with it these forks are kind of small though these are like pallet forks we need bigger forks on this honestly so the JCB, these are going to be helpful because once we get there, we're going to have to unload everything off of the trucks and the, off of the trailers, I should say. So having these two loaders plus all the forklifts will make unloading very easy. My guys was taking way too long to get the thing loaded with traffic. So I decided to come out here with some cones and redirect traffic. Now, technically, we're not really supposed to do this, but it's kind of help. Wait, why is that truck over here? Bro, did you go through the cones? Come on, man. It really? Wow, now we gotta put more cones down on this side. But yeah, like I was saying, pretty much we put down these cones to kind of direct traffic and pretty much get them around the scene so that we can continue to load efficiently. 
We're gonna put a couple more cones down on this side just so that nobody hits our trucks or trailers. But as you guys can see, we are successfully directing them around the whole scene that we set up. Occasionally they tend to hit the cones, but it's okay for the most part. So we got this side coming over all the way to the right lane and then same thing on this side. They're going against traffic and just staying to the left and hopefully nobody hits each other because if anybody crashes, we're probably going to get blamed for this. Also put in a couple extra cones down too. I just don't want anyone to like try to switch lanes by accident. So I'm trying to make it very obvious that you cannot change lanes. Yes, I'm being lazy. Just put another cone down instead of picking that one up. So we finished putting down all of the cones that are required and traffic seems to be handling everything perfectly. So now we can continue loading up and we can use this lane over here so that we can speed up the process and load up the rest of the trailers a little bit faster. So let me tell the guys to get back to work. Just a reminder, boys, this is going to be our biggest construction project of the year. So we need all hands on deck so we can get these trailers loaded. So we have the forklift running. I got the big cat 950 and I'm going to get this loaded onto one of these flatbeds and we are almost ready to get out of here. We now have all of the trailers loaded up and ready to go. And the next step is to assign a truck to each trailer. Now each one is carrying different stuff as you guys can see, but um, let's get different trucks and assign them to trailers. So this one right here, we have the W900. It's already here in place, so we'll just connect it to this trailer. So we got the Kenworth W900 attached and ready to go. And let's see, we now have a Mac Anthem. What should we make the Mac call? Try to carefully pull out without hitting that fire hydrant. And it looks like we're clear. Now that already has a truck, that already has a truck. So I guess I'll just put this into the next one, which is gonna be right here. And we'll get that attached. Truck four, which is our Peterbilt, can hook up to this trailer. And that one is now ready to go. We have another Kenworth W900. This one has a sleeper and it's for our trucking company. This one will be hauling the office. We also have a Kenworth T440 and this will be hauling a low boy trailer. We actually have two of them. We finally have all the trucks and all of our drivers ready to go. So we're going to do one final check and make sure everybody is good and every load is good. No issues. We got everybody lined up and now we are about to do a super long convoy from our station all the way to the fire station. Now, this is crazy and we're going to have to, you know, escort these vehicles and I figured we'll use our GMC because this one does have emergency lighting as well as our ram truck up here it also has emergency lighting and you guys are probably wondering why does a construction company need emergency lighting well it's kind of complicated but I have a politician friend and he kind of approved us for emergency use so we're allowed to use this if we are like responding to a scene that has like an emergency that needs construction equipment so that is why we have these but anyway let's go ahead and get started so robert is gonna lead the pack with his ram and i'm gonna try to keep traffic out of the way with my gmc and here we go everybody is moving here we go guys so let's clear the way down we have construction vehicles everywhere so on top of our lights, we also obviously have sirens as well. But yeah, this is looking crazy right now, guys. We are going cold three through all of the lights. Oh, we're turning here. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. My bad, I thought we were going straight. Construction convoy rolling cold three. Come on, everybody, let's go. This is such a long convoy. This is ridiculous. I feel like the front of the convoy is like already at the fire station. <laughs> I'm still back here on the first turn. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is the last one. It is. We can go. All right. Let's move it. Let's move it. All right, at this point, we are getting onto the highway and things are probably going to get bad. 
Wait, we're getting on the highway just to get right back off the highway. Whose GPS are we using? This doesn't make any sense. What are we doing, guys? This is extremely dangerous, but I need to get back to the front. Come on, everybody. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I guess we need more escort vehicles. There's no way I can do this myself. All right, everybody's through. Let's try to get back to the front. Hold up, hold up. Convoy coming through. All right, we are about halfway there. Did we lose trucks? Oh, this truck's all the way back there. Oh, my God. All right, let me go back and see what happened. Got everything straightened out, and we are almost to our destination. All right, guys, we finally made it to the fire station. So since we have so many vehicles, I think what we have to do now is just try to block off the road over here. And we're going to just pretty much shut down this entire area so that we can fit all of the trucks and start unloading them. Step one of setting up the construction site has been completed and that is setting up our office so that now we have a place to manage all of our operations. Now we also have all of the trailers here. We went ahead and closed down all of the roads so that traffic cannot come in here and we closed it down to both vehicle and pedestrian traffic. But now we need to get all of the supplies unloaded and we also need to get the cement trucks um, running inside as well. So while they're working on the cement, I'm gonna just give you guys a quick tour before I start unloading everything with the JCB this truck is pretty cool but if we come over here you guys see we have um, some of our support vehicles over here we have more trailers we have oh what happened here wait who put that sign over there uh oh let me let me move that sign out the way guys that sign is not supposed to be here someone must have picked it up and moved it it's supposed to be over here but yeah, we went ahead and closed down the road. As you guys can see, we put up a detour. So everybody either has to go to the right or go to the left to get around the construction site. And it is causing some traffic, unfortunately, but you know, it is what it is. Some of these people actually know. Oh, you know what, guys? We forgot this road over here is actually supposed to be closed. So let me put up a barrier. Uh oh, what's happening? LSPD's mad at somebody. Come on, don't take it in my construction. Oh! Oh my god, they shooting. They shooting. Oh shoot. Yo. It's going down. Oh, they're ambushing the cop. They're ambushing the cop. Oh no, we got an officer down. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Oh my god, he got hit. He's still up. Get him. Oh god, well that escalated quickly. Now our construction site is a crime scene. Are all the officers down? All right, I think the suspect is down now. So what I realized was we had to also close down this part of the street too. So I'm just gonna quickly put up a sign as we wait for, I guess, EMS and everybody to come. All right, looks like EMS is on scene now. We're gonna place this barrier and we'll just place two of them. And we can put a detour to the left sign so that everybody knows they have to turn left. And that's pretty much everything we need. We kind of need to shut down the sidewalk area as well. So let me put down another one. And for that, we will go with the sidewalk closed barriers. Okay, so we now have this entire area shut down. And damn, that guy unfortunately did not make it so coroner's gonna have to come and take care of them that was crazy so now we need to get back to unloading everything so we're gonna use the jcp to get all of the stuff off of the trailer and we'll just load it probably onto the side for now so that we can start our construction and we'll just use this to pick everything up it has been four and a half months i thought i was gonna hit that car but we have finally made some progress on the fire station and now what we are doing is bringing in supplies to stock it so ace trucking and logistics kind of took over at this point and we are bringing in stuff that the fire department is going to need such as you know their beds their kitchen equipment appliances um pretty much everything that you need inside of a firehouse we are gonna bring in so we have a lot of trucks and trailers already here i'm just bringing in another load so we're gonna back this one up and get it unloaded 
But it's been pretty cool watching this thing come along, guys, and watching all the different companies work together. Construction company has been killing it. Um, towing company helped out a little bit, but the trucking and logistics company really came in and helped out with, you know, getting all of the stuff that we need, which is perfect and gave us more opportunities to make some profit on this job. So now that we have this in position, we're going to let the forklift operators unload them. And I believe this um, one over here is actually ready to go. So let's get this set up and get it ready to get out of here. So the first thing we went ahead and did was connect the trailer to the dolly by pushing that back. Now we got to connect the other trailer to it. And in order to do that, we're going to hop into the Peterbilt and grab this trailer. And now that we have this trailer, we're going to try to get it over to the other side. It's been a pretty tight area to work in. Some of these trucks don't have the greatest turning radius, but we've been able to make it work which is great. I'm estimating that the firehouse should be complete in about another two months or so. Um, at this point, it's pretty much easy. The next stage, though, before we officially open it is we're going to need fire trucks. And that's going to be another job where probably Ace Towing would come in. And I will probably use Ace Towing to really bring in all of the fire trucks and vehicles that they will be using. And I think we got it. Let me see if I'm close enough for it to connect. May have to try it one more time. It looks like I may be off a bit. And we got them connected. Perfect. So now this trailer is ready to head out. And you know what? I might as well take it. I'll take this one back to the shop and I'll let the other driver bring the Kenworth. But um, yeah, guys, pretty exciting. And like I said, the next step is really going to be bringing in all of the fire vehicles. It has been another four months and I know I told you guys it wasn't going to take this long, but due to some delays and some issues that we had, it did. But as you guys can see, we are finally inside the brand new firehouse. This looks amazing. Okay, I'm lying, guys. You already know we're not at the firehouse yet. We're at our Ace Towing headquarters, but we just finished all of the fire trucks and they are now ready to be delivered. So we have rescue number one heading to Rockford Hills. We also have truck one or tower ladder one. And we have engine one as well as hazmat one. We also have an ambulance. I believe that's medic one over there. We have a command unit and a, I think actually, I think that's everything. We have a bunch of stuff, but the problem is we only have like three trailers. Oh, oh, did that leave a mark? Uh oh, eh, 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 they won't notice that. But yeah, the problem is there's only three trailers that I currently have at the shop right now. And we have way more than three fire trucks to deliver plus all of the um you know the commands and the rescues and all that stuff so we're gonna have to figure out a way to make all of this stuff fit onto the trailer and if it doesn't fit worst case scenario we'll just have to do more than one trip but i'm hoping we can do everything with one trip like we'll just do another convoy and deliver it all at once so we got three trailers to work with let's see what we can do and we're gonna start off with the tower ladder here do a quick light test looking good should we do a ladder test too uh, we'll do it let's do a ladder test once we get to the actual location so um in order for this to work it's not gonna go on this way i'm gonna have to back it in so let's try to back it up now this is longer than the trailer but it should be able to get up onto the back part of the trailer so let's give it a try so we got the first truck on i feel like we have a little bit of space back there but obviously nothing's gonna fit so it really doesn't matter this piece we don't even need technically i'm gonna probably take off that part but anyway this thing is ready to go so let's put on the front and yeah tower ladder one is now ready so this ended up fitting pretty well as you guys can see so tower ladder one has been chained down and is now ready to go so for the next trailer i'm thinking we can probably squeeze two things on it we got an ambulance we got also the command unit let's see if i can put the command unit on the back and then i'll put one of the other fire trucks on the front so this one we're gonna just drive on up and try to get it all the way to the back of the trailer or not so we ended up having to put it on this way so I had to 
back it on in order for this thing to fit, but let's put it all the way on the back and lock it down. Turn off the lights and turn off the engine. So that'll be perfectly fine right there. And I think we have enough space to put maybe the rescue or the hazmat or even the engine. All of those trucks are shorter than the tower ladder, so they may fit. Let me see which one is the shortest. I think it's gonna be the hazmat truck. The engine appears to be, a, oh yeah, the rescue is definitely probably the longest out of all of them. So let me see if which one I can fit. If I can fit the engine, that'll be better, but if not, I'll put the hazmat. Now, besides the trailers, we also have the heavy wrecker. The heavy wrecker can also tow something there as well. So let's see if this is going to fit. It looks like it's going to be close. Um, dang, it's just a little bit too long. I think I'd have to probably push the the battalion chief a little further back. I don't know if that's the best idea. Let me take a look at the hazmat and see how that fits. Oh, we still have one more trailer too, guys. I forgot. So we could probably put something on this trailer too. But what I'm thinking is since the ambulance may be longer, I'll probably, yeah, I think I should put these two together and then we'll make the heavy wrecker tow the engine. Okay, so this may work out, guys. This may actually work. So we moved the chief truck back a little bit. Actually, I did not. You know what? I didn't move the chief truck back yet, but this may fit. Let's see. If not, we could try to move the chief truck back a little bit more. Yep. Nope. Does not fit. So I went ahead and pushed the chief truck back as far as I can and I believe that's going to give us just enough space to move the engine up where this whole thing will fit. Let's give it a try and see. Oh, the bumper actually fits right under the chief vehicle. So we got even more space. We'll lock that down. And now we're gonna put this part of the trailer on and we're good. We got like a foot to spare, perfect. So we now have two of the trailers loaded and the last trailer is gonna be the ambulance and the rescue. And then again, the engine can be towed by the heavy wrecker. So this is perfect. I'll get my drivers and we can make one long convoy and head to the fire department. Now we're gonna attempt to put the medic as far back as possible, just like we did with the command vehicle but it doesn't. Had some issues getting the ambulance up, so I'm gonna try to use a loader and just carefully lift it up and see if I could just place it onto the back of the trailer where I need it. We just need it to sit right here on this back piece. Just like that. And it's gonna hang off a little bit, but that would leave plenty of space and it should be okay let's just line it up a little bit better and we'll place it down looks good to me as long as it doesn't roll down we should be good went ahead and got this thing chained down ready to go we got a little bit of an over overhang excuse me but should be perfectly fine so now last vehicle that needs to be Loaded up is going to be the hazmat truck, and then after that, we'll take the engine with the heavy wrecker. Uh, this is going to be close, guys. I may need just a little bit more space with the ambulance. Let's see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, we'll have to try to move it back somehow. Come on, come on. Uh, nope, it doesn't fit. Okay, it's okay. Was able to readjust everything and it now fits with plenty of space. So last thing we need to do is grab the engine and then we can get out of here. So again, engine is going to be hauled by the heavy wrecker. And to avoid having to worry about, you know, pulling the drive shaft and all that stuff, we'll just go ahead and tow it from the back. Got it ready to go, guys. So we have everything 
attached on a trailer. We just got to get all the trucks backed up, get the drivers here, and then we will head out to the fire station and unload all of the fire trucks and then take a tour of the best firehouse here in the city. I know you guys are going to like it. So let's get to the firehouse. We now have all of our trucks, drivers, trailers, everything is ready to go. As you guys can see, this convoy is looking crazy. So let's head out and head to the firehouse. We are here guys with the first fire truck for the new station. As you guys can see, it's now around the holidays. So we went ahead and put up some Christmas. I went ahead and unloaded all of the fire trucks, but we still have one more left to unload. And I also have to move that hazmat truck. And then we will go into the fire station for the first time, into the headquarters, into the firehouse. I feel like I keep changing the name of it, but there is a secret thing inside this firehouse that I'm gonna show you guys too. So um, yeah, before we get into the secret, let me get this last thing unloaded. Now, truck one is going to be going in the middle bay on this side, along with engine one and rescue one. And then hazmat one is going to be going on the other side with the command unit and the ambulance. So this station is going to be stacked with units, which is going to be awesome. For now, I'll leave everything outside just because it kind of looks cool. But let me show you this, too. We could just go ahead and deploy the outriggers, which activates the ladder. And then we can actually lift the ladder up, too. It's kind of hard to see it here. There's not much space. And we'll put that back down. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it on this side. Let me move the hazmat into position and also show you guys the other side of the station. So again, on this side is going to be the chief, the ambulance and hazmat. Perfect. So we now have all of the vehicles in their correct location. So all we have to do now is go inside the station and tour it. And now it's time for the moment you guys have been waiting for. We are going to check out the Rockford Fire Department. So let's head inside. We're going to be using our firefighter character for this one to unlock all the doors. And again, I want to give a huge shout out to Prompt for this interior. If you guys would like to check it out, I will have a link for it down below in the video description. And since you guys are so awesome and you're still watching, I'm going to put a coupon code down there so you can save some money on it as well. But anyway, let's head inside the station and take a look at everything so once you come in we have a locker room and we also have three bays over on this side you can fit a smaller vehicle such as a battalion chief we have space for an engine and a ladder truck and don't forget there's also three more bays on the other side which we will be going over shortly make sure you watch out for this little crawl space but that's nice if you need to get under and get under the fire trucks and do some maintenance we also have this beautiful mural back there looking very nice and over here we have a secret entrance that connects the fire department to the police department and i will show you guys that at the end of the video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and um that's if you do have his rockford police station by the way too but anyway let's head into the kitchen we have a TV in here. We've got some controllers, some green juice. Of course, we got to have fire extinguishers everywhere, CO2 and water extinguishers. We have our dining room table. We have the kitchen, all of our appliances. Very, very nice stuff. We have cereal up top, microwave, spatula, lots of details. We even got tea. You know we got to have some tea. Got some fresh fruits. <laughs> Wait, look at the refrigerator. I think we're missing a door. Did somebody break open the door with the hell again? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you live with firefighters. They always want to use their tools on stuff. Over here, is that a orange? I don't know. Half eaten orange. Got some uh, poison too. Don't ask why, but we have that just in case we ever need it. Up here, we go up the twirly stairs. And we have some more magic areas up here where we stay nice and clean in our showers. Very nice. You could come up here and bathe with your fellow firefighters and really bond with each other. As we continue going all the way up, 
we have our employee of the month and we have the employee of the year and yeah i know i know that's me <laughs> yeah i'm the employee of the year that was actually a couple years ago before i uh lost my hair but yeah employee of the year man well, I guess that doesn't really make sense because if it was an employee, it would be, you guys, uh, you guys, it's okay. It's not that serious. Okay. We also have some um, memorials for firefighters as well. Unfortunately, that did not make it. We want to make sure we remember them and never forget. As we continue on, this is a medical equipment closet. And this is where we have everything that we need as far as treating people. So any type of medications, bandages, pills, anything like that, you can find it in here, which is very cool. Over here, we have office space for administrators and they got all their stuff that they need. Computer, oh my goodness, what the heck? This thing is a mess. All right, over here we have some more office space. This is where all the firefighters could come in and do their reports or take care of anything that they have to take care of on the computer. Also have some more beautiful murals on the wall. Oops, didn't mean to knock that down. But yep, very, very nice action shots. As we continue on, we're going to enter the briefing and lecture room. And this is where we do some training and whenever we have to talk to the firefighters, we bring them in there and let them know what's going on. We got some top secret information here that somebody left that, yeah, anybody could come look at, but yeah. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. There's more to this fire station. I know you guys have seen a lot already, but wait, there is more. So now we're gonna go down the opposite way that we came, which is gonna put us on the other side of the station. But before we go down there, I forgot, we do have to sleep. So this is where we sleep with each other. No, not not like that. I don't mean like that. You guys know what I mean. This is where we sleep when we're not responding to calls and stuff like that. But very nice. Got some artwork in here. Got some plants, lamps, books. Very cool. And of course, we have lockers for changing. Now we're going to head downstairs. Got some nice chandelier chandeliers up there. Plants all over the place. Nice artwork. Even the paint on the wall, like everything just looks so nice. So this door will take you back to where we came from on the other side of the garage. So we pretty much walked all the way around, walked up and then came down on this side. And over here we have the other bays that you guys already seen. I went ahead and moved some stuff around. So we now have the rescue truck over here along with the hazmat operations truck. And we have medic number one on this side. And on the other side, we have tower ladder one, we have engine one, and we have battalion one. Now I'm gonna go out for a second because there is another entrance that I wanna show you guys. So if we come over here, I believe this is like the main lobby area entrance for civilians that are coming in here for whatever they need. So they can come in right through here and they can wait to be talked to by one of the people at the front desk. And over here is our dispatch operations area. So this is where the dispatchers work from and they have multiple computers to dispatch us to calls and they cover the entire city. And yeah, this will take you to our wall of honor. Again, we will remember those firefighters who made the ultimate sacrifice. And then back up here, you are in our library area. Our firefighters could come, you know, just read learn how to improve their self-esteem. What else they read in here? Bloody Canyon, okay, interesting, interesting. But we have plenty of books and literature. We even have laptops and stuff for the, whoa, <laughs> laptops for the firefighters. So yeah, it's a pretty state-of-the-art facility, guys. Very nice. So now the last thing I'm gonna show you guys, once I jump over that, I fell in there so many times while I was walking around, is going to be the secret entrance to the police department, guys. So, you know, fire department and police officers, you know, they get along so great. So we decided to connect the buildings to each other so that they can come hang out with each other in between calls and at night and, you know, whenever they wanna have some fun together. But um, here we have a bathroom nice and clean only the best for the fire department as you guys can see beautiful mirror the lighting is nice the designs is beautiful 
And I'm telling you, let me know in the comment section, would you like to work at this firehouse? I it looks perfect, guys. So over here we have signs that are leading us to the police department, as well as signs leading us back to the fire department in case you get lost playing down here. But from here, we are now in the police department guys take a look at this place this place is so cool and if you guys would like to get this you can also get this um down below in the video description i'll have the link to it again shout outs to prompt is this a glass wall that is amazing the led lighting oh they got a gym yo if you guys would like to see a full tour of this place let me know and i will do that in a future video Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what I should do next. But more importantly, click right here to watch my brand new driver crash my heavy haul truck while it was transporting the biggest oversized load. It was terrible. Click right here to watch and I'll see you guys over there.